right now we are in the middle of the peak breeding season for deer, if you didn't know. Mm -hmm. And the Department of Natural Resources says that's when deer are on the move the most. So that is why you see them running onto the roads and interstates, which we all know can be very, very yeah. dangerous. 11 Live's Tracy A. McPeard tells us what you need to know while you're driving to stay safe. DNR tells me there are 40 to 60,000 deer versus car collisions a year here in Georgia. And this is the time of year those crashes happen the most. I was extremely shocked and there was blood all over the car, hair all over the car. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it was not pretty. Megan Harrell just got her car out of the shop last week after hitting a deer while driving back to Atlanta from Lake Oconee. I had my five year old in the back and he was terrified. Harrell says there were three deer in all. Two of them stopped, but the third, a large doe, ran straight at them. The deer, it landed on his back and then he just flailed and then he got up and ran off. Very rarely do you see just one deer. Captain Michael Burns says Georgia State Patrol responds to these deer versus vehicle collisions all the time, especially in late November. Uh, we've seen them on Interstate 20, we've seen them on the connector. I've uh, seen them on Interstate 85. They come from the wood line, jump the median wall, and then get hit in the middle of the interstate. But there are some tips you can follow to stay safe. First, don't drive drunk or distracted. If you do, you won't be able to react quickly to anything on the road, especially a darting deer. Next, be aware that this time of year, deer are out in large numbers, especially around dawn and dusk. Third, if you see a deer on either side of the road, slow down. And if one crosses the road, know that there is likely at least one other deer right behind it. Next, if a deer runs out, don't swerve. It's better to hit it head on than to hit another car or run off the road into a ditch or tree. And finally, if you do hit a deer, safely pull off to the right side of the road and immediately call the police. Then once you have blue light show up and you have a, a more safe scene, then you can get out and look at the damage. Burns says the damage caused by deer collisions is significant. It'll take the whole front end of a car off. Uh, and a lot of times you hit the deer and then the deer rolls up on top of the car. So it causes damage to the hood and the windshield. Harold's crash caused $12,000 of damage. My whole headlight was caved in. You know, like I said, the hood was smashed in. The front bumper. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and Harold says now she is much more aware of the danger of deer. If they are running around in the middle of a busy intersection, broad daylight, then I'm going to assume that they're everywhere. Now, if a deer is injured in the crash, you'll want to pass that along to police for them to deal with. But DNR tells me if the deer is killed, you can legally take that carcass to have the meat processed, or you can donate it. In Midtown, I'm Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.